Sam, I really want to thank the ones that invited us to come tonight. My wife's traditional name is Takosan. She carries a late father's name. She is hereditary chief of the land you're on, the Kwana First Nation. My wife has been chief of their community 33 years. I'm honored to be here. My name's Salah Sultan. I carry my late father's name from up in Cultus Lake. My name means close to the valley, close to the water. My English name's Kevin Kelly. I really want to thank the school for the call. We love coming to these kind of ceremonies, these grads. I think it's really important to let the parents know, the siblings know, the grandparents, the brothers and sisters, the ones that come to support them. You know, these are the ones that have been behind you all the way from grade one to where you are now. Tonight is your night. You deserve this beautiful night you're having. 
You've worked hard to be where you're at now. And now the journey will really start. I thank you for the respect. It makes us feel good when we can make you feel good. You make us feel good. I want you to know that. This is an honor we get here, being here for each and every one of you, but also for your families. I was told, I was told years ago, somebody said to us, thank you for the show, thank you for the demonstration. We tell them it's not a show and it's not a demonstration. Every song we sing is a prayer song. Maybe today somebody in the crowd here needed this medicine for themselves. Or maybe you have somebody in the hospital. So maybe when you left home, somebody wasn't feeling well. This is when you pray in your own way. But it's, it's medicine for us all, regardless of what color we are or where we come from. These songs are for everybody. This is what it represents. We're just honored to be here and I thank the organizers for allowing us to be a small part. And I will bring this back to my wife, the chief in the community, on how respectful you are to the land you're on. But I say to the grads, tonight is your night. You deserve this. I'll see them. ACM Siaya, in my language that means good day, friends and family. Because I was told by my old ones when we practiced ceremony, no matter how big or small, that was a little bit of ceremony. That song that we first drummed the graduates in, that's a journey song. That's the highest honor in our culture that we can do for people. They're walking into their next life. They're spreading their wings and they're gonna start flying soon like eagles. Today is your night, congratulations. I'm so proud of you guys. My mother always shares with me that Stakwasan, the leader of my community, says you guys are going to be the change in this country. You're the next generation. The most inspiring thing I've ever heard was when we used to jump for KPU, Kwantlen Polytechnic University, and an elder graduated that day. It was a nurse, and she got her master's in nursing. And I want to share this story for the graduates here and for the ones that are in the crowd here now, too. She got up and they were looking for someone to stand up and speak on behalf of their class. Everyone got that one elderly woman to speak. She got up and she spoke and she got her master's in nursing. And she said, this degree is a key, is a key added to my keychain. When there's a key added to my keychain, there's more doors of opportunity for me to grow. So don't let this be the last key added to your keychain. Every day you can grow. You can learn from every, anybody. That's what my mother shares with me all the time, Stakwasan. From the youngest person to the oldest person in the room, you could learn from someone. So continue on your journey. Remember those people that were there for you, those teachers, your mom and dad, and your brothers and sisters that were there for you. It's your time to give back to them. But today we're celebrating all of your achievements that led you today. So when we sing those songs for you, for the ones that don't understand, when we raise our hands high, I raise my hands high to each and every one of you. Without words being spoken, I shared that I have the most utmost respect for each and every one of them. Those songs that we shared, those, they're not songs, this is our way of prayer. For the ones that don't understand, this is a time to be able to be taught. I asked my uncle Stephen Point when I was nine, when I was 17, why are people so drawn to the drum? And he said, you remember when you're in your mom's womb, what did you hear? Her heartbeat. So it doesn't matter what walk of life we come from in this earth. All of us have that heartbeat and we could all connect to this drum. But for the ones that aren't here physically and are here spiritually, when we sing these songs, it's not only the heartbeat of our people, but it's also the heartbeat of our ancestors. So the seats that are empty here, my old ones share, they're not really empty. They're filled with our ancestors and all the ones that you wish that could be here spiritually on the other side, they're here to join you as well. When we beat our drums and we share our prayers, they join us here as well. So they're all celebrating amongst you guys. So I thank you for 
this college, the school for allowing us to come in here to allow you to enjoy your day. Once again, congratulations. Grad 2022, continue on your good work. I want to offer up our sincere thank you to the cultural drummers of the Kwantlen First Nation uh, for that blessing in the opening uh, drumming and, and for those words of inspiration and for uh, sharing your culture with us. <clears throat> I feel very, very fortunate and blessed by their choice to be here this evening. Um, they, uh, they set aside other things so they could join with us and uh, we're very, very grateful for that. My name is Jeremy Sable. I'm the president of Stenberg College, um, and I'm your MC this evening. This will be the first time I've ever done this. I've done this many, many times. This will be the first time I've ever done it with reading glasses. Uh, so bear with me. I, I might. Uh, I'm already finding it disorienting, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I don't know how you people wear glasses. Uh, <clears throat> how do you do it? I don't know. Uh, it is my pleasure and my privilege to welcome you to Stenberg College's spring graduating uh, graduation ceremony, pardon me, for uh, 2022. I want to uh, extend a welcome uh, to all the family and friends, to you graduates, of course, to faculty and staff that are here this evening and, and uh, a strength of numbers, which is wonderful to see. I'd like to thank all of you for making the trip here this evening, whether you've come uh, from somewhere in the Lower Mainland or from uh, across British Columbia, I know some of you have uh, joined us from outside of the province. We do deliver programs across the country, and uh, I, uh, I thank you for, for joining us here. If you're coming from out of province, uh, you probably uh, you can be comforted by the fact that it probably took you less time to get here than it did to drive, say, from Vancouver to uh, here. So um, <clears throat> such is uh, traffic. I want to apologize for the parking uh, situation if any of you had to walk a distance. Um, unfortunately, there is a lot of parking taken up with the, uh, with the construction uh, going on. Um, I'd like to ask that you uh, remain in your seats until the ceremony is concluded. I'm going to give you that classic reminder, please, now to turn off your uh, cell phones. If anyone's cell phone goes off during the ceremony, uh, security will come uh, quickly and escort you out of the building. Uh, so please, um, please, I've seen them do it. <laughs> You're laughing, but it's, uh, it's an <clears throat> very embarrassing. Um, we do have childcare available here. If uh, you weren't aware of that and have a child that you'd like to put in childcare because you think it might be more interesting than sitting through the ceremony, uh, please see one of uh, the staff at the side. Um, you can't leave them here indefinitely. Uh, you do have to claim your child at the end of the ceremony. Before we get into uh, the, the obvious uh, reason we're, we're all here, the, the uh, presentation of graduates and, and recognition of their achievements, we uh, uh, are starting off with the presentation of a memorial award. Uh, this happens annually at our spring convocation. And the presentation is of the Christopher Wittig Memorial Scholarship. Christopher Wittig worked on his family farm in Saskatchewan until, until his brother Vernon died of a heart attack. Chris's wife, Lori, says, hearts don't run good on his mom's side of the family. Farming wasn't the same after Chris's loss, so he and Lori moved to the city for a new career, and he chose the cardiology technology program, partly due to his brother, but also because he loved to interact with patients, hear their stories, and positively impact their lives. And he thought this career would offer him all of those things. He achieved a grade point average of 92%. Sadly, though, in 2019, at 43 years of age, and only three months before his program completion, Chris suffered a heart attack and died. Christopher Wittig exemplified a generosity of spirit and a positive approach to life that we all aspire to at Stenberg College. He was simply a good human being who made a point of lifting those around him and leaving a legacy in the memories of those he affected. Such was the effect that Chris had on his fellow uh, students, instructors, and staff that something truly special happened in response to his tragic passing. The senior administration at the college were approached with a request to provide a scholarship in Chris's name. 
And the Christopher Wittig Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to a mature student who best exemplifies the many outstanding human qualities that he possessed and lived out every day. Stenberg is both pleased and proud to present this scholarship in the amount of $1,000. And this year's recipient of the Chris Wittig Memorial Scholarship is Jiawen Carmen Dung. Her instructor, Amy Gill, has this to say about her. She has persevered despite significant personal loss. Carmen is polite, professional, intelligent, and compassionate beyond measure. She genuinely cares about her patients and colleagues. I am now incredibly lucky to count Carmen as a colleague myself. I would like to welcome Carmen forward to say a few words before she accepts her award. Good evening, fellow graduate Stanford faculty, staff, family, and friends. It is my most incredible honor to have been selected to visit the Cosmetic Memorial Scholarship Award. I still remember back in 2017. Before I moved to Canada, I was worried and frustrated. What should I do to start my career here in Canada? Did I have to give up my whole experience with pacemakers just because it was not transferable to Canada from my home country. Imagine how excited I was to hear about the cardio tech program at Stanford. I said, Stanford, you set a fire in my heart. At Stanford, I've met the smartest, kindest, hardworking, and most helpful people. Here, we have the fire. I've learned what is professional, or you may say workaholic is, from our instructor, Jonathan, who replied to my email even at 1 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> and what is the highest standard for patient care from our instructor, Vienna, who did more than 19 ECG in one night. You guys lit the fire in my heart. I told myself I want to be this kind of cardio tech in the future. Here we have a hot fire, but we also have a warm fire. First, I felt Christina's most incredible warm support when my mom passed away. I need to reschedule my midterm exam and she make it possible. She changed the day for me without a moment's hesitation. Secondly, I remember every heart and caring emotion from my class we are a family that support each other during the journey in Stanford. We've come from knowing nothing to become ECG lovers. All the instructors have lit the fire in our heart. It's to help, to achieve, and always do our best. Yes, we made it. I would most like to share Chris's word with all of us. This will be the fuel for our fire, he said. I want to help save people so they can stay with their loved one longer. Yes, and we will. Finally, I would love to thank my family, Martin, Elsie, Roger, and my mom. I could not have done this without your love and support. And congratulations to all the grads. Thank you, have a great evening. Thank you, Carmen. Congratulations once again. And if uh, we could have, please, our cardiology technologist instructors, Jonathan Aquino and Christina Scott, come forward uh, to make a presentation of uh, plaque to Carmen. Congratulations again in memoriam of Christopher Wittig. <laughs> we are now going to make recognition of the Student of the Year nominees. The presentation of the Student of the Year Award is at the uh, end of the year. It's at the Fall Convocation Ceremony. 
Every year, over a thousand students enroll at Stenberg College with the goal of transforming their lives through education. For them, Stenberg represents a fresh start, and for many, it represents perhaps a new lease on life. Whether taking classes at our flagship campus in Surrey, or off-site at our satellite campuses throughout BC, or in our regional labs in Calgary, uh, Winnipeg, or Halifax, taking a program online somewhere across the country, their experience is often united by profound personal and professional transformation. In recognition of their remarkable achievements, Stenberg presents the Student of the Year Award annually to a deserving student who exemplifies excellence in academics, leadership, attitude, community service, and spirit. The award goes to students who embody our mission to develop caring graduates who benefit their professional and personal communities. The winner, and I can tell you it's extremely difficult to choose each year, um, we have so many incredible um, nominees. The winner receives a full tuition reimbursement. Uh, the first runner-up receives a $5,000 tuition reimbursement and the second runner-up receives a $2,500 tuition reimbursement. Each program finalist receives a $1,000 tuition reimbursement. And uh, it's, an, it's an honor simply to be nominated. As I say, we present the award every, every October and students graduating from any program, classroom, uh, whether classroom or online, uh, are eligible. Though we select finalists for each program in the fall, I would like to acknowledge the nominees here tonight. So, we received many nominations from staff and faculty and once again, uh, we are overwhelmed uh, by the stories that have come forward uh, attached to these individuals. All nominees this evening for Student of the Year are wearing gold V stoles. And uh, to recognize that nomination and will receive their nomination certificate in the, may, in the mail. I would like to ask that all those wearing V stoles uh, stand up so that you can be recognized uh, by the audience today. You may be seated. I would like to make one other acknowledgement as well. Uh, this is very, very rare. In fact, I think it might mark the first time uh, we've ever had this occur. But uh, I think it's appropriate uh, because one of our very own uh, staff and faculty members here at Stenberg is, uh, is in a position to celebrate uh, her own graduation I'd like to ask uh, the program, program director for the Psychiatric Nursing Program to please stand, Carly McInerney. Well, we don't applause just for standing, that's not what, yeah, you haven't let me get to it yet. Um, Carly, uh, on top of um, being responsible for uh, an incredibly important and, and intense program, uh, our psychiatric nursing program, which is uh, uh, delivered throughout the province of British Columbia, on top of that, she uh, took on a doctorate in uh, healthcare administration and uh, has um, completed that now. And so we would like to uh, recognize her achievement even before her uh, institution gets a, an opportunity to do that. Uh, once again, congratulations to Carly and uh, thank you for your excellent work. All right, you've all been to a graduation before, I presume, uh, at one time or another. Uh, whether it was yours or uh, you were in the audience, um, just like most graduation ceremonies, we too have a valedictorian. Uh, this uh, ceremony's valedictorian excelled in her program and is also a Student of the Year finalist. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce Minu, Minu Gruel. Sorry. While she makes her way down here from way up in the, uh, in the nosebleeds there, Minu is graduating tonight from the practical nursing program, and her instructor, Ann Nauer, had this to say about her. Minu was 
and I said it before, an excellent student. <clears throat> she studied hard and contributed thoughtful discussions in class and online. She was a positive role model to the other students. She demonstrated sound critical thinking and exemplary compassion to her patients. I believe that Minu will be an excellent licensed practical nurse. Uh, well done, Minu, says uh, her instructor, Anne. Uh, please welcome Minu to the microphone for her address. Hello everyone, my name is Minu and I'm a graduate of Practical Nursing Program. I feel honored and privileged to be standing in front of all of you amazing people to share my reflections on the last couple of years. Let me start by thanking everyone, Stenberg staff, faculty, and fellow graduates, our loved ones. Thank you all for being here to share this very special milestone with us. Many special thanks to the instructors who have been so committed to success of every student. By working diligently throughout the program and by taking personal interest in our academic and professional development. And many thanks to the administrators who helped along the way throughout this journey. The past two years were filled with colorful and varied experiences. Each of us had our own unique journey at Stenberg. I'm guessing we all had good times, okay times, and times of laughter, times of joy, and times of school spirit. And of course, times of last minute cramming for an exam or an assignment. Personally, I love and cherished every bit of learning attained, every interaction with many friends made during my program. I know that I have made friendships for life and for that I'm forever grateful. Lastly, I would be remiss not to thank my loved ones who supported me and put me up with my crazy sleeping, not sleeping routine, the insane hours, and hundreds of bags of chips consumed. <laughs> and a very special thank you to my rock, my son, Darman, who has been my strength throughout the program. Thank you for always being so understanding and bringing me snacks while I was studying and for showing your support and love in many ways. Mama loves you so much. I think I can speak for every graduate here tonight when I say thank you to entire audience for supporting us and we work towards achieving our educational goals. We couldn't have done it without you. Graduation marks the end of yet another extraordinary chapter in our lives. With this chapter closed, I am certain that many of us are very anxious and excited about starting the next one. As nurses, we have vast opportunities. We have opened the doors to never-ending career of growth in all aspects of healthcare. Even though we're done school, the learning does not stop here. I must say, it felt extremely hard at times, but we did it, and we are all so very proud. Thank you so much for coming out tonight and sharing this moment with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Mino. Not just for being uh, an outstanding student, but for, uh, for that outstanding address. Um, you've already made us very proud. I know that uh, you will go on to do so as a nurse as well. To present uh, a plaque to you to commemorate your valedictorian uh, address, we'd like to ask uh, nursing instructor Paulita David forward. That's okay. I think it's worth mentioning, and um, Minu touched on this, just uh, if, if any of the students came forward, you'd hear the same thing, the intensity of the programs 
um, that uh, they go through at Stenberg because they're uh, done in a sort of a compressed format. Um, uh, the, the intensity of our programs is, is quite considerable. Uh, and so for an individual to undertake a, a program and uh, also to continue to work part-time, that's, uh, that's a, a significant load in, a, in and of itself. And for those students who also have you know, family obligations or, or other things that they need to do uh, to juggle along with the demands of a, of a program, um, it, uh, it's, it is an achievement. It is absolutely an achievement. When I think about my own time going through a university many, many years ago, uh, I won't say how many, um, you know, I had the luxury of, of just simply being a student. You know, that's all I had to, to concentrate on. Um, when I compare that experience uh, to what I know our students uh, undertake, when they undertake education of this kind, um, I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with respect and admiration for what they have achieved to be here on the stage this evening. Um, for those of you who are family and friends supporting them, you may have a sense of that, but you also may not. It could be that uh, the graduates here uh, didn't didn't share everything that they were going through, but that's. That is why we're gathered here today uh, to acknowledge that, and uh, that's what we're that's what we're about to do when we present the graduates is is to acknowledge that and take a moment. Please, uh, typically, what we do here is uh, as the graduates are called forward and they proceed across the stage, they're going to be welcomed by their instructor, uh, or, or at least one of their instructors. Um, and uh, they'll be handed a, a ceremonial uh, document. Um, they're going to gather at the far end uh, with their class, and there'll be an opportunity for applause and, and photos at that time. Um, we, we welcome outbursts of uh, enthusiasm and congratulations, though, too, but typically we hold our applause until the class is gathered at the far end. I'm going to invite now our alumni coordinator, Sonia Ireland, uh, forward to take on the uh, unenviable task of pronouncing every single graduate's name 100% uh, correct. Lee, um, good luck uh, to you, Sonia. And um, uh, the last person to have this job did, in fact, uh, achieve a score of 100% accuracy, uh, so there is that to uh, that to shoot for. Ready. So, in alphabetical order, the first class that we recognize this evening is from the Business Diploma Marketing Specialization Cohort. They started in January of uh, 2021. And they're being presented to this evening by Natalie Anderson and Jonathan Aquino, if you'd like to come forward. Fatima Robertson. We have only one graduate from the BDMS uh, program uh, this evening. There we go. Let's give it up for Fatima. This program provides students from all over the world an opportunity to experience life in Canada while learning valuable skills that will serve them well in the international economy. These graduates have developed foundations in advertising, business communication, digital marketing, sales, and customer service and event management. Just as importantly, they have developed interpersonal skills that would allow them to integrate seamlessly into diverse business settings. And apparently, it's uh, taught them survivability also. So uh, congratulations to our one uh, graduate from that uh, particular cohort who was able to join us this evening. 
The next cohort coming forward is for our cardiology technologist program. These uh, individuals started their program long ago in December of 2020. They are being presented to by Jonathan Aquino, being called forward once again, and uh, by uh, Christina Scott. Amina Ali. Joanne Deng. Oscar Mikla. Michelle Miller. Shayla Oram. Tanya Thomas. Zoya Turian. With students from Vancouver Island to Gander, Newfoundland, this program is Canada's premier cardio tech uh, uh, educational program. It's a rigorous 62 weeks long and much of it is online with access uh, to labs across the country. Lab and clinical preceptorship prepare grads in a con uh, to conduct a wide variety of diagnostic procedures, including ECGs, stress tests, Holter monitoring and event monitoring. And uh, as I say, they come from right across the country. I'm not uh, sure if we have anybody from Gander, Newfoundland here this evening, but uh, they're here in spirit. Congratulations to the cardio techs from December 2020. <laughs> Presenting to our counseling therapist private practice students. Uh, these students started in April of 2020. Uh, they are being presented to you uh, by Rosemary Fromson and Christina Savage this evening. Ishani Shagravoti. Andrea, Andrea Kraft. Wendy Del Cid Ascon. <laughs> Catherine DeLate. <laughs> Sherry Du. Rina Mangat. Sarah Mohammed. Courtney Nygaard. Luciana Susan. Our counseling grads fulfill an essential role in society by helping others overcome challenges, achieve goals, and better their lives. Through their practical placement at our partner, Moving Forward Family Services, which is a nonprofit organization that provides low barrier or no barrier counseling services to anyone who needs it. These students have already contributed to those in need of professional support. Uh, no doubt they will go on to help a great many other people uh, in the future. 
counseling therapist private practice graduates from April 2020 start. Congratulations. I'd like to call forward instructor Jill Hammer so that she can present to the early childhood education cohort of January 2021. Maria Angelica Carlos. <laughs> Mantag Gill. Haju Zhang. Kreshma Haydari. Rocky Capilla. Rajminder Kar, Miriam Mogatam, Dora Middleton. Faryal Nayazi. Our EC graduates can take pride in the fact that they, uh, that by laying the foundation for a child's future learning, they're laying secure foundations, indeed for the future of society. It's a big responsibility, but they're up to it. As children cultivate 85% of their intellect, personality, and uh, life skills by age five, the first months and years of life set the stage for lifelong development. Congratulations to the graduates from ECE January 2021 who have already taken their seats. Now, for those uh, who complete uh, a diploma in early childhood education, they may choose to go on to the post-basic portion, which extends uh, their learning into specialized areas. I'd like to call forward Sharon Mitra to present to the early childhood education post-basic graduates who started their studies in August of 2021. Zora Zamani. And just like with business diploma, there's only one this evening, but uh, don't let that fool you. It's a small but mighty group. Uh, these graduates have built upon their early childhood education training to gain a further understanding of working with infants, toddlers, and children with exceptionalities. Our post-basic grads, or grad in this case, uh, is prepared to handle a wider range of administrative and supervisory responsibilities in childcare facilities. Once again, a round of applause for the graduate from uh, UC Post Basic. Danica Florendo, won't you please come forward and present to the HCA or Healthcare Assistant cohort that started in June of 2021. Bimal Nadu. Sandra O'Neill. Annie Lynn Ramos. Micah Salsado.
Dakota Chapel. Stenberg's longest standing program offered over 25 years, for over 25 years. Uh, our grads are recognized and in demand because of the skills and training they develop over their seven months of education. Our employment rate for our healthcare assistant grads, this will probably come as no surprise, is 100%. But this still speaks to the quality and reputation of their education and the types of people that they are. We are grateful for the work our HCA grads do. I'll be even more grateful uh, as I get older. Uh, they do the work, of course, of supporting our elderly individuals to maintain a level of independence while easing their pain and improving their quality of life. Congratulations to our graduates from the HCA Corps, June 21. I want you to bear those words in mind as we uh, welcome forward two more groups of healthcare assistant graduates. Um, I'd like to call Gloren Guelos forward. Uh, to present to the graduates from the July 2021 cohort. It was a, 21 was a busy year. Lauren here. Ah, may I have a volunteer to present, please? Yes. Wonderful. Once again, this is the HCA cohort from July 21. Young Li Chen. Karen Dillon. Courtney Huang. Amandeep Kangura. Tia Litz. Abigail McAvoy. Brittany Tremblett. Michaela Van Berkel. Oh, you know, already know all about what healthcare assistants do because I told you for the last group. Uh, but so we can uh, give these guys a round of applause. <laughs> Once again, that's the 0721, the July 21 cohort, hot on their heels and being presented to by Pavan Sidhu. No? <laughs> Thank you, Danica. It's outstanding, outstanding service this evening. <clears throat> uh, and so once again, Danica is going to present to the graduates from the August 2020-21 cohort. Alexa College. <laughs> Cassandra Galligan. <laughs> Nelfa Garcia. <laughs> Mark Giesbrecht. <laughs> Tina Hache. Nessa Lacanienta. <laughs> Carolyn Lloyd. <laughs> Carolyn Lloyd. 
Mark Lontayo. Parmeet Mommy. Taylor McCarthy. <laughs> Katrina McLean. <laughs> Deborah Olson. <laughs> Madison Parr. Absena Tapa. Brandy Vasnik. Jenna Yannick. We squeezed one more in there. Well, this is bound to be a boisterous applause, uh, given uh, the, uh, the foreshadowing there from the various parent and family groups. It was outstanding. We do like our outbursts of enthusiasm. So, big round of applause for the graduates from. Excellent. Danica, I think you're done for this for the evening. So that's good. I'd like to call forward Nikki Cross. Danica, you can join her if you like, if you're getting uh, on board there. Uh, Dan, sorry, Nikki is going to be presenting to the hospital support specialist graduates that began in March of 2021. Jasmine Aurora. Tarpreet Dhaliwal. Ravneet Gill. Tanpreet Gruel. Rachel Howie. Dinaz Jaswell. Lovepreet Kaur Sander. Uh, this program trains the very best of the administrative staff who greet us in many healthcare settings throughout the province, and certainly the Lower Mainland. Their friendly faces, positive attitudes, and administrative proficiency keep our healthcare systems running smoothly and efficiently. A hospital could not run without hospital support specialists working behind the scenes, whether as registration clerks, health records clerks, medical imaging clerks, much of the organization of hospitals and healthcare settings can be attributed to these grads. One more round of applause. <laughs> Our next presenters are Nicolette Barker and Carl Kalisiak. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, medical lab assistant uh, cohort, this one 
starting in May of 2021, and this was one of our a distance cohorts. So they did their program online, a medical lab assistant cohort from May 2021. Alyssa Abdul. Shaina Hussein. Hosnia Samadi. Nabila Samadi, sisters. Jody Rao. Komal Ugre. Khadija Asar. Our medical lab assistant program is great for anyone who loves to work with people and also isn't too squeamish about blood. Certainly a unique uh, group. Our students have learned to work with a variety of patients and have developed great technical skills along with interpersonal skills such as patience, empathy and understanding and also uh, how to pick up somebody after they've fainted. These are the medical lab assistant graduates from May of 2021. Round of applause for them, please. You may be wondering, how do you learn to draw blood in an online program? That's a fascinating story for another day, and if you run into me afterwards so we can talk about it, it's, uh, it's quite something to see. Uh, the, uh, the presenters, I'm going to ask to remain on stage, Nicolette Barker and Coral, to present to the Medical Lab Assistant cohort from July of 2021. They are up next. Khadija Asar. <laughs> Trishel Baharias. Gurpreet Kaur Chana. Rochelle Deliarate. Sukdeep Diol. Amanpreet Dillon. <laughs> Navdeep Dillon. <laughs> Mona Dillon. Neha Kapoor. Manpreet Sahota. Monica Sohal. Kimberly Vargas. Somea Zaman. Crystalline Amansak. Who's in the next cohort? <laughs> Sorry. 
As you can see, we're producing a veritable army of people prepared to take your blood. <laughs> Congratulations to the graduates from the July 21 Medical Lab Assistant Cohort. All right. I'd like to welcome Nikki Cross back to the front. Here she comes. Nikki is going to present to the Nursing Unit Clerk Cohort began in January of 2021. Kristalyn Amansak. <laughs> Ashmeen Bath. <laughs> Kamalvir Dollywall. Manjot Dillon. <laughs> Mohammed Feroz. <laughs> Amisha Naidu. Sayona Nayar. Manveer Sandhu. Narinder Shergill. Nursing unit clerks are often referred to as the anchors of patient care departments. Without them, the uh, nursing staff and others would not be able to complete their duties quite as effectively and efficiently. They're extremely well organized, professional, have exceptional communication skills, and are good at managing not only the flow of traffic in and out of units, but personalities as well. Sounds like I need to have a nursing unit clerk at my house. Uh, those are uh, certainly some attributes we could use around the Sable household. Congratulations to the graduates from NUC January 2021. I'd like to call forward Sharon Kumar. Aha, excellent. She's here. Sharon is going to be presenting to the nursing unit clerk cohort began their journey in May of 2021. Ramandeep Atkar. <laughs> Sonia Byring. <laughs> Rajveer Brar. Gurkaran Garcha. Harpreet Kangura. Roxana Moroccan. Kalashni Sanju. <laughs> Simrat Singh.
I'm going to assume you weren't shouting out, you look so pretty at me. But, um, if you were, thank you very much. And you try. Let's have a big round of applause for uh, the nursing unit clerks. May 2021. And at least one child in the audience isn't happy at all about nursing unit clerks. But, uh, oh, you can't, can't please everyone, I suppose. I'd like uh, Preet Dhaliwal and Raj Mann to come forward. You're going to uh, greet and present to the optician graduates. The optician cohort that started in October of 2020. Oh, Sharon's going to present. I'm, I pardon me, Preet is going to, thank you. Farah Abdul Sabour. Kamal Barjwaj. <laughs> Brianne Bonter. <laughs> Prabjot Carr. Jim Manipon. <laughs> Alvin Sandu. <laughs> Sunpreet Shoker. Optician graduates combine customer service, professional practice skills, and a sense of fashion with technical healthcare knowledge. Upon successfully completing the national licensing exam, they become integral members of the eye care team. On behalf of those here tonight who wear glasses or contacts, which I now proudly say I am among you, uh, we thank you for helping us see better in style. Congratulations to the opticians, October 2020. Right. Now we're going to have probably some of our larger groups. Uh, won't Polita David come forward to present to the practical nursing cohort? Began with us in June of 2020. Keisha Balagosa. Darian Bishop. <laughs> Sulia Christie. <laughs> Hannah Davis. Cornelio Escoto. Simran here. Maria Paz Ruiz. Free Savadas, Neil Tinio,
Uh, this program is approved by the British Columbia College of Nurses and Midwives. Uh, RPN graduates consistently exceed the national and provincial standards on uh, the national exam and have an excellent reputation throughout the healthcare sector. Grads have mastered the theoretical components of nursing and the characteristics that will make them valuable in the healthcare system, which include critical thinking, leadership, awareness, teamwork, empathy, and the passion to deliver exceptional patient care. I want to thank you in advance for the great care you will know you know you will provide. Congratulations to grads of Piano 620. We have another group of practical nursing uh, graduates coming forward. Paulita, I'm going to ask that you remain on the stage, if you will. You're doing such an exceptional job. Really, it's really quite good. Patricia Alonso. <laughs> Princess Roma Arciaga. Zoe Brown. Marissa Delopoulos. Dicopoulos. Sorry, I'll say it again. Barnett Dandley. Danielle Dumrique. <laughs> Roxanne May Emboido. <laughs> Minu Gruel. Harpavan Jawar. Anisha Kumar. Mahima Kumar. Nandini Kumar. Valerie Lori Manas. Emily McDonald. Christabel Moffat. Farisha Patel. Savannah Pittman. Trixia Kittelig. <laughs> Natasha Sharma. <laughs> oh dear. I love it when the shout outs sound like they come from a football huddle. And actually coming from northern Vancouver Island, I, I also enjoy when the shout outs sound like you're at a party at the lake. It's great stuff and it's outstanding. Let's have a big round of applause for the practical nursing graduates. October 2020.
fantastic support here this evening. To present to the pharmacy technician graduates from February 2021, I'd like to ask Harini Amstutz and Carolyn Holtgren forward. Most Rahina Actor. Sarah Lafleur. Emmeline Patawarin. Melissa Plouf. Bupinder Sekon. I wonder if you can spot the graduate on stage this evening with the best socks. <laughs> best socks in show. <clears throat> Congratulations to the Pharmacy Technician Diploma Program, February 2021. the same instructors, Harini Amstutz, Carolyn Holtgren, and Abdul Fahim Mohammed, to present now to the pharmacy technician graduates from May 2021. One more round of applause as they're leaving the stage. <clears throat> Kanwaldeep Dillon. <laughs> Lydia Rani George. <laughs> Alex Kim. <laughs> Jenny Sambath. Prahlad Sikakane. <laughs> Zoe St. Ange. Uh, this program has been accredited since 2009 by the Canadian Council for Accreditation of Pharmacy Programs. And in 2013, our program was the first in BC to receive the status of a full five years accreditation. Pharmacy technicians are integral members of the healthcare team who prepare and compound medications. Of course, we depend on them for their accuracy, attention to detail, and are for, for our overall well being if we do, in fact, need to go to the pharmacy. Congratulations to the pharmacy technician graduates from February 2021. and to the pharmacy technician graduates of May 2021 who are just now exiting the stage. A round of applause for them. All right. Next we have the regional diploma and psychiatric nursing graduates. I'm going to call to the stage Charlotte Ewington, Carly McInerney, and Sasha Rourke to present to the graduates. This program is just over two years long, so these students began with us in September of 2019. It's delivered online throughout British Columbia, so the chances are to be on stage this evening, they had to travel some distance, so here they are. Diane Abendroth. Yeah. 
James Achumbre. Amelia Acoma. Jajiwan Anmol. Shireen Aranis. Prabnir Ajla. Haley Beckett. Sydney Brooks. Josephine Ediza. Davina Gill. Miga Kajol Gruel. Sydney Haymore. Aaron Dirksen. Kira Johnson. Jocelyn Kaiser. Daniel Kang. Michelle Lingett. Sydney Mayo. Kayla Morrison. Nicole Quinn. Tikarim Sapkota. Sarah Singh. Stenberg's program is the only psychiatric nursing program out of its kind in North America, so far as we're aware, with the theory curriculum offered fully online. And as I mentioned, we have students joining us from all around British Columbia. In fact, most of our students are located outside of the Lower Mainland. Over the past two years and or more, these students have worked extremely hard to do the professional and personal development needed to become psychiatric nursing professionals, a challenging and rewarding field that is continually in dire need of more practitioners. A big round of applause for a big group, the Psychiatric Nursing Graduates of September 2019. Congratulations. <clears throat> Now I'm going to present to the Education Assistant graduates from March of 2021. As the faculty take their seats, I'd like to call forward Sandy Binning and Natalie Taylor Lane. Paula Dodis. Kirsten Dickerson. Yeah. 
Marie Hafeis. Supreet Gill. Tanjeet Kaur. Satinder Kaur. Saeed Mustadi. Raquel Romero Cruz. Navneen Sandhu. Kamaljeet Vij. Harleen Wahid. Sounded like we were at a Bieber concert there for a second. <laughs> Fantastic. EAs work with students who require additional support with academics, behaviors, English language, and specialized needs. They're equipped with additional certifications in American Sign Language and Autism Spectrum Disorder. These graduates will support students of all ages and abilities in a variety of settings in the education system. Big round of applause for our EA graduates in March 2021. We have one more class to present to you this evening. They are from the Therapeutic Recreation Program. They started in April 2021. They are going to be presented to you this evening by instructor Cheryl Bain. Carlos Almendarez. <laughs> Emma Lynette Estocapio. Hailey Kim. Heather McLeod. Caitlin Shabilsky. Natasha Williamson. Therapeutic recreation professionals are in demand in various care settings and play a vital role in promoting and facilitating health lifestyles for seniors and older adults. This program is a great fit for people who personally enjoy recreation and sharing their hobbies with others. Through this career, our graduates are able to extend their passions, such as music or art, into a setting where they bring joy to older adults and add quality to their lives. A noble pursuit, if ever there was one. Congratulations to our final cohort this evening, the Therapeutic Recreation <laughs> graduates of April 2021. <laughs> Wonderful. That brings us to the end of our official ceremony this evening, except for the part where I say a few words and go completely off script. <clears throat> Before we do that, uh, because uh, once uh, finished remarks, um, our Kwantlen drummers are going to come out uh, once again and uh, drum the graduates off stage, where you'll be able to meet with them to celebrate together uh, in, the, uh, in the foyer area. There are a few uh, points of uh, business, I suppose. Uh, I'd like to remind graduates, uh, once we've finished the ceremony and you've gone out, uh, please you return your grad gown uh, to the bins. 
Um, each of them has a, uh, a satellite trackable uh, device <laughs> sewn in to them. Uh, don't try to find it, it's very small. Uh, but uh, it allows us to track the gowns wherever they go. Um, you also must return the V-stole, uh, please, uh, but you may keep those dashing caps. And who would not want to keep that dashing cap? Um, for those of you who have a child in childcare, we've got you on camera, we know you left your child there. Uh, please pick them up before you leave. And so now uh, we need to recognize the various groups that we are here to celebrate. Obviously it's a graduation, we know we're here to recognize the graduates. I would like to acknowledge uh, and recognize and celebrate two other very important groups of people. The first are the folks in black and white up here on the stage, the faculty and staff of Stenberg College, who, um, yes, you can give them a round of applause for us. I don't know why I'm wearing my glasses, I'm not reading anything. <laughs> but it does make me look a whole lot smarter. And I need the, I need the help in that department. I'd like to um, thank the faculty and staff of Stenberg College uh, for being the dedicated professionals that they are. It's my pleasure and privilege to say uh, that, uh, that I'm their leader, I suppose, um, although really they, they don't require any direction from me. Um, they have a true, genuine passion for the work that they do. Uh, that's, that's why they've chosen uh, to work in education. Uh, almost uh, all the folks you see on stage here, the majority are, are faculty, but, and so almost all of them come from healthcare or education backgrounds themselves. Many of them are still practicing. They choose to be involved in education because it's a passion. And for the staff, uh, those not involved in direct education delivery, again, they want to be a part of the process of education and participating in the transformation that happens in people's lives through, through education. So thank you to all of you for what you guys do every single day. And on behalf of the students who you've helped facilitate to get to this point, thank you as well. The second group that I want to acknowledge is actually out there in the dark. And there are, of course, a great many individuals who likely are not here this evening to share this moment and celebrate with a graduate on stage. And that, of course, is the network of friends and family uh, who stand behind each and every graduate here. Uh, it's probably not an exaggeration to say that other than the obvious if you're a parent, uh, it would be impossible for the graduates to have achieved all that they have achieved without some sort of support. Uh, sometimes that comes in the form of a financial support. Maybe it comes in the, in the form of somewhere to, uh, somewhere to stay or to, to sleep uh, and eat <clears throat> while you're studying. Maybe it comes in, the, in some sort of uh, moral or emotional support. But I'm going to speak now on behalf of the graduates who I would like to give you a big round of applause and say thank you for all that you have done to, to make this night possible. And now to the graduates. There are many, many different reasons that a person chooses to come to Stenberg College. But there's really only one reason that a person chooses a program like the programs we deliver at Stenberg College. And that's because they want to connect with humanity at large. They want to contribute in a positive way to society. Every single program that we have at Stenberg gives graduates the opportunity to do that. That's what they're aimed at. Education, healthcare, you, you heard the names of the programs. You can imagine those types of career paths and what that means. 
If you notice the dates of when these students started into their career path, into their chosen career path, into their program, I think all of them started their program and chose to enter into the healthcare or education, the human services fields, into helping careers. They made that decision at a time when it was actually dangerous to be participating in those professions, right in the middle of the pandemic. You know, it took a conscious decision to put yourself in harm's way, to rush towards where help was needed, to enter into a healthcare or in, indeed into an education uh, career path during the last year, two years, 2020 and 21. So I have ad admiration for, for all of our graduates. I have admiration for all of our students, no matter when they chose to come to Stanberg, no matter when they graduated, because I have a tremendous amount of respect for the sacrifices you have made to complete your programs. But you especially, it takes nothing away from any graduates before you or after, but you especially, I have an additional level of, of gratitude towards and an additional level of respect because of the choice you made and when you made it. That could not have been an easy choice. And it was done uh, from a genuine place of caring and wanting to make a difference. So now you're in a position with all that you've learned and what you know and the career path you've chosen to contribute to society in a positive way at a time when I believe society has never needed that contribution more. Hopefully you don't pay too much attention to the news these days, but um, you know, because really who could stand it? Uh, there's a tremendous amount of negativity in the world it seems to be increasing. Um, it seems to be all around us. There are many things to be worried about. But one thing I don't worry about is the work that we're all involved here is the right work. It's good work. And it is going to make a difference. It's going to push back against those negative things that are happening. It's going to push back against the negative in the world. And it's going to help people. So I thank you for making that conscious decision. I thank you for allowing us to be a part of that decision and to play a role in bringing you to the point where you can actually go forward and pursue your dreams and make some good happen in the world. I wish nothing but the very best for all of you. I hope that you'll remain in touch with us. You'll tell us about your journey. You'll tell us the stories of the people that you've met and the lives that you've touched. Thank you very much and congratulations to this graduating class. If you haven't done so already, you may now move your tassel from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, a tradition that signifies a rite of passage. You can clap them off, there you go.